What is good, everybody? Um, this is EC Productions here, back with another video. And um, yeah, today we are going to be going to a baseball game, a Florida Gators baseball game. I am driving right now to the stadium, the ballpark. And um, today, I've never done a stadium vlog in a while, and I'm hoping this one is honestly better than the ones I've done in the past. I've done a Rays Yankees vlog and that one I was a little bit too shy. I was younger. That was almost four years ago I did that vlog. And um, today I'm going to be in a ballpark um, watching the Florida Gators play the Missouri Tigers here. Um, I'm driving there right now. Um, it is around noon time as the game starts and it is about 11, 10 minutes after 11 right now and I'm about 5, 10 minutes away from parking. And, um, yeah, um, the Florida Gators won the first two of this series. So I'm going to give you a taste of what college baseball is like. Um, a lot of people vlog pro baseball, um, pro sports in general, and even college football. It's pretty close to a pro sport now, but not as much from the college baseball standpoint. And today I'm going to be doing that for you guys. Um, how will it be? Who knows? Maybe I'll upgrade my equipment and get better camera work. Who knows? But um, I'm using my phone today to vlog this experience for you guys. Um, I'm wearing my Devil Rays hats and my Playoff Randy t-shirt. Um, Playoff Randy right there. Playoff Randy sweatshirt. And um, yeah, uh, Tampa Bay Rays are doing well. Florida Gators are doing well. Um, lately they are. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait to show you guys the ballpark, the ballpark. And yeah, I'll let you know when we get there. Arena. So this is the museum right there. Our museum of art. Um, pretty famous. It's free to go there. And it, look, it says cultural parking only to the right and stadium parking straight. But we're going to go cultural parking because honestly, it's a little bit easier. And there's probably going to be more spots available. Look at all that. Look at all those spots. Actually, that's my dad's car right there. That's pretty funny. Um, that Ford Fusion. And uh, yeah, uh, let's turn in here i like parking in the parking garage here that is the dr phillips center right there there's some construction going on but yeah let's turn right there's the ballpark you can see it all the way up there that little top little condren ballpark that's it right there but right now we are going to be turning into the sorry vlogging and driving is not easy that is for sure yeah we're going to be turning in the ball well park here there's the parking garage and yeah i'm gonna park and then i'm gonna walk to the ballpark and i'm gonna show you guys the surrounding areas of the ballpark and in general cannot wait it's a little bit sunny outside here but i usually sport club tickets for these games but today i'm gonna be actually getting berm i have berm tickets the club tickets are being used right now, but I'll show you that area maybe in the future. Um, that area, actually, it's about $15 more than maybe a lower level seat, 15 to 20 more. And you get unlimited hot dogs, soda, popcorn, cookies. And sometimes they even bring out like extra, extra foods there. Like um, one time they bring out meatballs, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I'm walking right now um, this is my surroundings to the park. It's windy, very windy outside. We've had some severe weather um, these past few days here in Gainesville, Florida. And honestly, this is kind of expected because when you get severe weather and then things start to get windy after that because that's the leftover excess of the storms that usually pass by. I don't know, I'm not a weatherman, but I think that's kind of what it's like. But yeah, um, we are walking forward right now. If you want to see in front, I don't think I can turn around the camera. But yeah, this is my surroundings. There's a little park right here. But yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys know when we get closer to the ballpark um, in this SEC baseball matchup. There's about a couple weeks left in the season. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's go and have some fun. I mean, of course. So here's the front view as we walk to the ballpark. Um, it's honestly 
there it is right there this is the back entrance i hardly usually go this way but um today i said why not so a lot of less parking more park, there's a park to the right of me so you're walking up as you can see right up here i'm gonna zoom in a little bit that is the diamond deck where they have the club seats and everything there's one of the entrances right there and then there's another entrance actually over there because that's where we're gonna enter where we're gonna end we're gonna go a little bit down this way here so yeah gate three entrance right there go down here and you're gonna be seeing more of this agricultural center here and yeah we are walking in some palm trees right there so yeah i'll let you know when we get to something a little four it looks like that they're having some sort of birthday party there gate three is just down there to the right you can't really see it in bird's eye view and yeah some offices right here so i'm gonna try not to just like video people i don't know i'm a little bit un un uneasy about that I'm um, not really showing faces as much. I'm trying not to. But um, I just walked by the University of Florida's baseball coach's reserve parking spot, which is you just walk right down what I showed you. I think it's like a white Cadillac something. And there's actually somebody guarding that. There's just a worker sitting down on a chair in front of a car guarding the car so um yeah i'm walking by right now there's some music going that's the kids area where they just there's a baseball diamond and a, on an artificial turf and they just play baseball have fun and yeah i'm approaching another entrance in a cool little view of the ballpark all right let me show you so here you can see part of the ballpark right there um the little that's where I usually sit on the second deck right there. You can partially see it. The roof is kind of slanted, so balls do fly down there, actually. That's how people get hit. Not hit, but they try and catch them because it's not hard enough when they go down that slanted roof. But it's kind of funny. If a ball lands there, then they're going to slant. You can actually see the players. There's the logo. Florida Gators logo. In the back of the scoreboard. And we're going to get in to see more. There is the Disney Grove game right there. So if you're wondering what the Disney Grove is, that is more like a area where you can just hang out. There's a area to eat, uh, drink, um, chairs right on the outfield and you can look out. It's really cool. I mean, there's a couple food trucks that are usually there. So yeah, we are getting closer to where I'm entering. This is just another intersection. There's a little bit more of the scoreboard. That's the bird's eye view that I'm in the batter's eye. There's an F there in Florida. So yeah, so you can get a better view here. We're actually, that's the center field ball right there. Bird's eye so the hitters can see the ball. Here is the rest of it. As you can see, the Florida ballpark and the flags of all the SEC teams there. You can see. Yeah, that's the center area of the ballpark. And this is the right there. And yeah, we're approaching entrance which is just, just right by past that wall around that corner is the entrance that i'm gonna go in and um yeah actually you can look over there and there's another game going on it's a softball stadium little little offices there you can see that little same style slanted roof right there so it's pretty cool i mean it's very windy outside right now so I'm going to have to talk close to the camera and everything. So, yeah, let, let me know in the comments how you can hear me, if there are people watching this. And yeah, we are entering right now. So past that wall, and then there's the entrance we're going right there. On the ballpark. Let's do it. Looks like there's somebody advertising a BMW there, maybe signing up for some sort of BMW. Yeah, Conjured Ballpark, that's the entrance. Let's do it. Entry. All right, so we are in, in right now. You can see steps old. here to go yeah, up. I'm working with the, the top. baseball team, one of the greatest programs uh, in the history. There's a little baseball wall here with the national champions, 2017. Oh, 
we go ahead and go head up and find our seats well we don't have a seat but we have just we're gonna walk around and that's why i chose to do a video for this one because i'll just show you all the different vantage points to watch a baseball game so yeah stay tuned we are in right now those were the steps we just walked up up here up these steps onto the front area so i can Walkway concourse leads down that little tunnel right there, and there's concessions down there. There's a sports shop right there. Oh, here's the ballpark. There's a baseball diamond right there. They're, it's like they're making the water and the dirt a little bit more moist. Um, and there's so far. There's a berm where everybody just puts blankets on and sits down. And yeah, there's a scoreboard that we were talking about right there. Yeah, more berm seating. There's rowdy reptiles right there. So yeah, I'll maybe spend most of my time over there. Um, down the outfield seating right there. I can show you where I usually sit, but I don't think I can because I think you have to have a wristband, and I'm not going to have that, so, yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and go show you all, have more when the game starts. So we are walking down the concourse right now. There's the diamond deck right there where they have the food and the drinks, and there's the baseball diamond the concourse where there's concessions, um, right, like right there. And yeah, it's pretty cool. The best part about this ballpark is because they have the 360 degree concourse, we could watch a game. See like all this here, we can just stand and watch the game. Um, like I, I can just walk up to one of these areas here. Like let's go right here. You can just stand up here and watch the game like that on this little railing here. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Another cool vantage point is there's just railing all here. All here, all the way down there, and there's more after the little wall, brick walls leave. But yeah, you can buy a ticket here, $10 for SEC um, games, $5 for non-SEC games, so non-conference. And if you get here early enough, there's pretty empty here for an SEC game. You can stand here, watch for three or four innings, three or four innings here, right? And then you can find an empty seat down here when you're paying $5, $10 well, for this game. But still, I mean, that's a solid deal. And this isn't minor league baseball. This is college baseball. And college baseball, there's a lot of great baseball players here these are the future players too not just minor leagues you can actually play for championships that mean more than honestly minor league championships so yeah pretty cool ballpark here in gainesville florida really cool taking a look at the sec standings here uh, florida is right there number three in the east at 34 and 10 13 and 7 in the conference, that's the second record is a conference record. While Missouri is all the way down here at seven. Um, five and 15 record in conference. So it goes to show you how the Gators are a lot better than this team. And that's the second worst conference record. Five and 15, the worst is Ole Miss. Who won the national championship last year. So interesting. This is the screen is just right here by the ballpark. Front, home base is right there. I can walk and I can watch the game when the game starts. We'll be doing this later. So here's the 2017 national champion roster. They beat, I think, LSU this year. And I mean, look at this. Look at the roster here. You have Rivera, Mike Rivera, Jonathan India right here. He's a ma major league player right now. Um, Couple more major league players I can notice. Alex Fiedo, 
one of my favorite players. He's on the Tigers. Um, JJ Shorts was up and down. Uh, let's see what else. Nelson Maldonado. Brady Singer, he's playing in the majors. Jackson Coar is playing in the majors. Both pitchers. Yeah, there's the national championship picture right there. Trophy right there. Let's get a better view here. 2017 National Championship Trophy. Pretty cool. Walking up here as players are warming up. Um, there's some of the players there. That's most of the team right over there, as we can zoom in. Gators and wearing their orange jerseys. There's some of them playing catch. Yeah, pretty cool. We're about 15 minutes until game time here. Um, the players are still warming up in front of me. I'm just standing at a wall here. And Missouri's team is also warming up. So yeah, I'll show you more action and follow the game for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's really it on showing the ballpark. I showed it. Um, I'm going to get some more vantage points though later in the game so you can get a feel that you're here with me. So yeah, looking forward to it. Really cool ballpark. Walking to the concession stand here. Um, there's TVs all around the concourse, as you can see, by the concession stands. So, I'll show you the prices here. Looks like, there we go. Look at it. So this is where I'm gonna be watching the first few innings, first couple innings, it's two to three innings here. Um, there's Missouri right there in their gray jerseys. There's Florida right there. And yeah, I got standing here for watching the first couple of innings. And I have a cheeseburger here. Just a plain burger. The chips. That was $17. So not a lot of money for just a tiny burger. Chips, but Hey, we're not complaining. We're watching baseball today. So, yeah, let's do it. Um, I'll let you guys know when the players come out. today it's a Sunday game um, it's gonna be fun uh, Missouri could easily win this game it's SEC baseball but we'll see what happens and I cannot wait for it to start here Gators are about to come out here we go Any second now. Yeah. All right, starting pitcher. Jack Caglione. Jack Caglione. I'll tell you more about him once I find a better spot. I'm not a big fan of this spot for recording because um, it's a little bit shady and I don't know. Kind of makes it. It's not bad, honestly, actually. I'll, I may stick with it for a couple innings. But yeah, this starting pitcher here, Jack Caglione, has 20, I think almost 25 home runs on the season. He's a hitter. A very big power hitter. He leads the whole country in home runs. 
while also being a decent starting pitcher. Is he amazing at starting pitching? No, but he very much can hit the baseball. He's going to be in the lineup today with a chance to hit more home runs while pitching. Um, he's going to be a big MLB draft pick soon. So yeah, game is a couple more minutes away from starting here. Let's get this game going. Go Gators. Game is underway. First pitch from Jack Hagliano here. There's a the ball. So we are underway. Might as well just show you the second one here. Nice. Swing and miss. Did he get the strikeout? Ooh, that was close. Let's see one more here. He dropped it. Whoa. Whoa. They're saying it hit him. I don't know how that hit him. If it did hit, hit him, that's ridiculous. They're saying it hit him. Did, 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 you be the judge. Did that hit him? And the umpires are coming together here. Already some fireworks here, not even two minutes into the game. And yeah, we'll let you know what it is. All of intensity hit by pitch is under review. Missouri is challenging. What? So Missouri's challenging the hit by pitch? I don't understand that at all. I'm confused, but we'll see what the result is here. They're reviewing it. Umpire is talking to him, and they're showing the replay up here. I don't think he got hit. I mean, we saw it right here. I mean, it didn't even look like it brushed him. And he's standing on first right now. So, yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll let you guys know what happened. Sit down, buddy. Sit down. Boo. All right. So they're saying he leaned into it, and they showed the replay up here. And it looked like he did lean into it. So that's not a hit by pitch. And he's out, and there comes the manager for the Gators, tearing him up. A lot of action here. As he is getting on his behind right now. Two strikes, two outs, one on second. Here we go. And he walks him. Drummer. Everybody's cheering when that guy who receives the balls comes out. He's, he's running out there. All right, two strikes, two outs, first and second. Runners. Pitcher right there on deck. Right under him, right there, Jack. Number 14. Four count with the nation's leader in home runs on deck. What is, he, what is Langford gonna do? What is that? It's on! After a home run we just saw, the pitcher is up, who leads the nation in home runs. Don't tell me that's pretty cool or what. Here he is. All right, that's one inning is in the books. Gators lead one to zero. Um, pretty eventful first inning. We had the incident to start the game with the hit by pitch. 
being called intentional, that he leaned into it, which is good for us. And then the home run by White Langford. Um, he had, I think, um, 30 or something home runs last year. Um, he's, a, he's had a little down spur this year, home run-wise, but that was good for him to see him hit that. So, yeah, going, moving on in the game. Shilling on the berm. Can it get any better than this, honestly? That's a nice play there. Seriously, can it get any better? Walkway here, and then there's the bullpen from the Gators. There's a couple of players right there. Pretty cool. You can just kind of just walk up to it and watch them warming up, which they usually warm up right there. So pretty cool. There's a walkway here. You can just watch it. Named after Gator pitcher Darren O'Day. Which I'm going to show you the sign right here. Um, Darren O'Day, MLB, bullpen arm, Gator legend, bullpen, you can just watch the game and the bullpen at the same time, if you have four, two sets of eyes, let's do it. It's in your peripheral vision anyways, so, awesome stuff. Another cool area, right, right by the outfield here, the game. They have a little dance camp going on right now, that's why the music's so loud. But, pretty cool. Bottom of the second inning, Gators still lead 1-0 on this Sunday. Beautiful weather the day for baseball. So, yeah, it's camp going on right there. The area is here. Right by, just around that corner is where I was standing towards the field. Look at this. This is the Disney Grove right here. Area to get food, food trucks right there. And then you have a little Gators BMW wrap car actually, which is kind of cool. There, and here's a little concession stand. Yeah, pretty sweet, honestly. Yeah. Bottom two. I'm right in front of the Missouri bullpen. It's also called the Jason Beard Memorial Bullpen. There's nobody out here. There's their bullpen right there. Not as nice, not covered like ours, but I mean, it's still a bullpen. So, yeah. the end of that catch. It's pretty cool. This is your local game location opening off of 13th Street in mid-June. Two innings now complete, so Gators now extended their lead to 3-0. So 3-0 Gators after two innings. Um, I'm going to go spend the next couple innings with my dad, my brother, and then we're going to be documenting the final innings for you guys. If anything happens in between crazy though, I will show it for you guys, all right? Go Gators. Missouri just took the lead off of a 
I think it was a double, two-run double. No, they didn't take the lead. Sorry, they cut the lead in half. And the Gators, though, lead 5-3 to three right now in the bottom of the seventh inning. We just stretched here at Condren Ballpark. And, yeah, Gators still lead 5-3, but Missouri is making it interesting. Um, I'll update you more. I just hang out with my dad. Let's go. Bases loaded, one out. Gators looking to add to their three run lead. And is that gonna. It's gonna bring home a run. Seven to three, Gators. Runners are going here. Three, two, two outs. Couple Missouri fans were just like, we're out of here after that misplay out in shallow left field. They just walked out right after that play. They're not, who wants to watch that, right? Missouri added a couple runs to make it. Florida added a couple. Florida added a couple runs to make it eight to three Gators. And we just started the top of the eighth inning. So. This game is far from over because in college baseball, we have blown leads larger than this going into the ninth inning. So, but yes, being up five is way better than being up two. And it was three, five to three going into that bottom of seven. It was five to three going to the bottom of the seventh. So it's nice that we got those insurance runs then. And yeah, eight three Gators looking to close this thing out. So it is the top of the eighth. And yeah, one thing I've noticed is that whenever our pitchers, let's say, hit a batter, which we've hit a lot of batters today, um, they always seem to, a pitcher, manager always seems to take him out right away. So like, whether we start the inning off with a hit batter and a walk, our manager always, Gators manager always takes him out right away and he's not messing around with giving up free passes. And that is huge in SEC play. Um, still, first and second, nobody out from Missouri in the top of the eighth. The Gators are up five. Five. Missouri just put up four runs in the top of the eighth inning. They're only down by one. But let's see if the Gators can get some insurance here. Look at this view right here. Three outs away from a serious sweep. It's all up to Brandon Neely to shut the, shut the door. Here in the ninth inning. Let's see what he can do. Let's get the brooms out. Come on. He's pitching the corner shot. Oh! One out until the sweep. Here we go. Fly ball. They're saying home Missouri fan players want a homer. They call it foul. They're gonna call a foul. Foul ball! Foul ball! Go back! They call foul! Go back! Go back! They call foul! Are you telling me that this guy can just stand on second? I thought, didn't they already use their two challenges yeah. though? I swear. They had oh, that. Foul ball on the field is under further review. 
Here we go, one strike away. Three, two, sweep him. Yeah! Let's go! Oh. Look at him watch Neil. Look at him, he's looking, he's watching Neil. He's thinking about it. Gators win. So they sweep the Missouri Tigers. Um, that was a very crazy game. I mean, it started with the top of the first thing with the hit by pitch being intentional, and then it ended with home runs by, I mean, Wyatt Lankford, uh, Cade Curland, all the home runs for the Gators. Some great catches in the outfield for Mizzou, but not so much in the infield. They dropped like three pop-ups, and they got two of those on video. Um, top of the eighth, Mizzou put up four runs with nobody out. They cut it eight to seven. But then our closer, Brandon Neely, the one who got ejected for just saying, let's go a couple series ago, and I'm still upset about that, got the save. So he pitched a scoreless ninth. Um, the only base runner was the catcher's interference. We were all upset. We were all a little bit frustrated by our bullpen. But, I mean, the Gators ended up winning 8-7, to seven, um, a sweep of the Missouri Tigers. And getting that win, the SEC isn't easy. And, yeah, thank you for joining me on this. Um, if you enjoyed these style of videos, please give me a thumbs up and share them with your friends and consider subscribing for more. Um, this Wednesday will be... I'm thinking about doing actually a softball version of this for a Gator softball game. They play Florida State that game. There will be a lot of people there, but we'll see if I think about doing that. And yeah, if you thank you all very much for watching, and yeah, go Gators and have a great day.